We've hacked the mainframe. We're in. Of course, it has an update in the middle of me trying to record a video. Look at this! I hit, okay, it tells me I need to create a user. I hit cancel, please create a user. I try and back out, please create a user. Ladies and gentlemen, we are so back. Today I'm going to be turning this laptop into a Steam Deck. Now how I'm going to do that is I'm going to plug in my USB drive and I'm going to flash Bazite OS to it. Throw in flashbang. Unplug my USB flash drive. Take my USB flash drive. I'm going to go ahead and plug this dude in. Holo 2022-2023-08. Whatever that means. Okay, now we have to... Um, I think we should probably restart. And then I remember on these things, you have to hold the F4 key. So let me... Updates are underway. Freaking Windows. Of course, it has an update in the middle of me trying to record a video. And now let me hold F4. Is that going to work? Hello, Windows logo. Yes, there we go. Okay, so if I go to here, go to secure boot. We want to turn it off. None. Secure boot disabled. Perfect. USB storage. That is exactly what we want. Now we shall exit and restart. We got Windows logo. And scary red unlock. This should mean good things though. We have EFI shell and reboot into firmware interface. I think it may be because I did not flash the USB drive in DD mode. So we shall be right back. Brief intermission. Okay, so this thing has been reflashed. Okay, so now that that's plugged in, I'm just going to power this thing off. Okay, we have successfully killed my laptop. Okay, let's go ahead and power back on. And then hopefully this will take us into the USB installer. Hey, hey there it is. Holo ISO installer, Linux, NVIDIA, Zen 3, or unverified devices. Holo ISO installer, Linux, Zen, NVIDIA, Zen 3, plus R2 something, or unverified devices, copy to RAM. I think I want the top one. Hey, we've got some things happening. There she goes. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Holo ISO logo. Steam Deck logo, not Holo ISO logo. What the hell am I talking about? But ladies and gentlemen, we have booted. And unlike last video, I will actually install it. This is taking quite a long time for just being a boot logo. Guys, my scared intensity meter is currently rising. Hey. Oh, stuff on screen. I was about to say that I would give you guys 50 shekels if it booted. Or if, if it didn't boot. Hold on. I don't owe you guys any money. <laughs> Hey, there we go. Hey, there we go. Hello, Mr. KDE Plasma Lizard Guy. Hi. I don't want your tutorial. I want to install SteamOS on this device. Install Holo ISO. Snapshot. Yeah, that's the one that I wanted on. Let's erase the entire drive. I had a Windows install on here. But who needs Windows when you have this? Root? What is root password? I didn't set a root password. Hello? I didn't set a root password. No password for root. Well, that's an issue. Please create a user. I'm trying to exit out of this so that I can create a user. Hello? Cancel. Please create a user. I'm trying. <laughs> can you guys... Look at this. I hit... Okay. It tells me I need to create a user. I hit cancel. Please create a user. I try and back out. Please create a user. I would love to, but you're holding me hostage in the terminal. Okay, well, I just tried to go into the, the super user account. And, um... Yeah, I got the password incorrect, so it doesn't like me anymore. Not user ass... <laughs> User ad. <laughs> Permission denied. Cannot. Oh, what? Uh, okay. Okay, so now I'm going to try to change the password of that ID10T. You may not view or modify password information for ID10T. Hold on. I'm still in the live environment, aren't I? Yeah. Wait, what? What does this do? I clicked on something. I don't know. What, what is this? Password updated successfully. Does that mean that we can install SteamOS on this device? Install. NVMe. Erase the drive. Root. Bing bong bam. Confirm the password. Enter username for this installation. ID10T. Ladies and gentlemen, we've hacked the mainframe. We're in. We're installing. Let's go. Hold on, I gotta make it bigger for you guys' tiny little baby eyes. There we go. Bootstrapping root file system. This may take more than 10 minutes. Well, we shall come back once that has finished. This is future me. I did want to cut in here and say thank you to this person who gave me these commands. Uh, Pico B and G, possibly missing firmware module AST, missing module XC8 XHCI PCI. Why is it missing so many firmware modules? I think it's gonna explode my computer. 
Installation finished. Reboot now. SteamOS. Hey. Did it completely reject Holo ISO like a bad hair transplant? We gotta get a Turkish USB next time. Guys, the scared meter is once again increasing. I'm wondering if this is not booting because of all that firmware stuff that was missing. Hello, mister. I noticed that your drivers were missing, but do you have games on your phone? I'm starting to think that I should unplug the USB and restart the computer. It should be fully installed, so it should just boot. Yeah, SteamOS. Yes. yes. Says it's loading. Goes to a Windows logo, to the Steam Deck logo, back to the Windows logo. I don't think that's supposed to happen. Oh, maybe that might be why. Internal storage at the top. That's probably why. Yeah, we want. We just want to install. Just give us the, the juicy goodness. Um, there's no juicy goodness happening. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's like a little, little baby, little baby white mark up here. Uh, I'm just giving some time. Okay, so we're back to this screen where it asks me what, what it wants to install. I am going to do test this media and install Bazite 40. Well, we have found ourselves in the same predicament. I don't know what to do at this point. <laughs> So I am currently reflashing the USB drive to DD mode. So hopefully that's all that was wrong and we can get past that little white dot in the corner. So everything I've tried has failed me this far. So I'm plugging this back in and rebooting and it'll reboot into Chimera OS. So it comes up Steam OS. Why does it say Holo ISO at the top? You guys probably can't see that, but it says Holo ISO at the top. What is happening? I'm gonna go into UEFI firmware settings. Let's see what this boot thing actually, why? Out, get out, restart now. Now we should boot into Chimera OS. Install Chimera OS. There's Linux stuff happening on the screen. That is what we like to see. Copying root FS image to RAM. These are good things. Good things I tell ya. Cow space, what the hell is that? Oh, <laughs> it's gone now. Okay, no internet detected. Okay, Wi-Fi has been set up, and then I want to install on this guy, and yes, I don't care if this has been formatted. And we're off to the races. Let's go. Never have I ever been more excited about Linux being installed on my laptop, especially Chimera OS. Standard install with default options, advanced install. I just want to go standard downloading system image. Linux things are happening. There's stuff happening. Warnings. Oh no, it's giving me the same firmware stuff. That's not good. Installation completed successfully. I would like to restart the computer. So far, everything looks good. Uh-oh, I saw it failed. So far, everything doesn't look good. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, we got stuff. We got stuff. Chimera OS starting Steam. Suddenly my screen got very bright. Oh, it's doing things. Steam OS, that's the thing. Guys, look, it's the thing. English. Guys, we freaking did it. Who thought that it would be Chimera OS? I've already connected my Wi-Fi. Get out of here. Look at that. Okay, I got to sign into my freaking Steam account here. It's loading user data. Before you start playing, let's take a quick tour of the device. Does it actually support touchscreen? It doesn't. Press any button or tap on the screen to continue. That's an issue. Oh, okay, the, the arrow buttons work. Oh my God, we are saved. Can I just play Half-Life? Half, half -Life? No, I have to install. We have done it. We are loading Half-Life. And we'll see if Mango HUD is actually working. I don't think that it is because it would probably be showing up by now. Now we just have to get through all of this splash screen intro nonsense. So this seems to be working. I know that you can see my reflection and this isn't very bright. I can't really do anything about that right now. <laughs> um. This is just a very dark scene in the game, but yeah, this seems to be working pretty great. I've never actually played this game fully, so I don't know what to do. Okay, yeah, this is more like it. This is more like it. This is the part where they take all your weapons and you have to like get the hell out of here, you know? Hold on, am I stuck? There we go. You guys can't hear it, but um, he do be talking, but this is working really great. That's a really freaking big building. Willy Wonka reference made? Who knows? This guy's still yapping. Give me the freaking crowbar. Thanks, buddy. Let me out. Okay, I actually, I'm, I'm not gonna be sitting here playing this game all the time, but yeah, this is running really great. I have successfully turned my laptop, oh, hi. I have successfully turned my laptop into a Steam Deck. <laughs>